I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Blitzbreaker. If you count this game as provided by the developer, so this, I believe the pitch was a platformer without running. I, I, I got two pitches for a platformer without jumping and a platformer without something else. And so it's a vertical screen game, so I got a bunch of different borders, I guess. Oh my. Let's just leave that on the default border, I guess. Let's see what options we got. Go away, Mr. Mouse. Uh, window. Yeah, don't. We don't want to touch that. Extra! Stats! Yeah, I played this a few levels. Five levels, I think. And, uh. Oh, it's got a link to the OST in the option. That's, that's a nice touch. I'm playing with fire here because, uh, baby steps. See, the way this works, you just press a direction and you fly as far as you can in that direction. There's still a little bit of gravity. And so... And you, you can't walk, you just only fly. So this seemed pretty fun from uh, the little bit I played. <clears throat> so you get keys and stuff. Uh, I, I'm sort of playing with fire here. I happen to... Alright, you can do a little tiny baby jump. Um, I played two other puzzle games. Oh. Hmm. I played two other puzzle games today and uh, ended up with a pretty nasty headache after getting very frustrated in both of them. Hopefully this game isn't like that. But uh, this was pretty cool and it's been in my two review list. Parker, don't attack my foot. What are you doing? Spikes are bad, MK. Okay? If you do them, you're bad. So don't be bad by doing spikes, okay? Conveying a sense of direction. That font is a little hard to read sometimes. Yeah, I just love the <coughs> general style that was going on with this game and figured uh, I should play it. Spikes, baby, spikes. And it seems like the sort of game that, uh, what is that? Well, we got it. Oop! Oh, dead. It seems like that sort of fast, restarty, bite-sized level game that wouldn't get too frustrating. And it seems like it's got that secondary objective. Uh, I think... Uh, I, mean, I meant to write a blog post about this, actually. Something that N++ does, and a lot of other... Oh. <laughs> I love that thumbs up. Um, so, I guess we just gotta wait for the conveyors. Something N++ does, and if lots of other good, uh, hard, platformy games tend to do, is that there's two clear conditions. There's the, you know, really good, perfect, clear condition, and then there's, you know, basic, um, you know, it's like, you know how Super Meat Boy has, um, eh? Huh. But you know how Super Meat Boy has the bandages? Basically, normal clearing is, you know, well, it's your normal clear. And then, once you get the bandages, that's your, you know, hard mode. That's your difficulty. Oh, we broke the screen. <clears throat> so what's Area 2? I guess we don't get to see Area 2. Saw her standing there. Speaking of Meat Boy, see, so yeah, there, there's this. I really like the idea of you know being able to beat the levels isn't too hard, but being able to perfect the levels that's really challenging. So it's like, you know, it's not like sort of speed running, and lots of games will make you know it, an actual speed run sort of thing where you know you have to. Uh, there's something. Oh, there's a thing. A speed run challenge where you have to you know get a certain time to you know get medals or whatever. Uh, but just stuff like that, like N++ does it with gold. Uh, a lot of times, just beating the levels normally... Hang on, how do I... Is there... It's gotta be a quick restart in a game like this. Not exactly... Not how I would define a quick restart, but it's quick enough, I guess. But yeah, in N++, getting all of the gold is really freaking hard, and that's basically your, you know, hard mode. And it's just built in. It's like a built in hard mode. How do I. Oh, I see, I see. It's like a built in hard mode without having to double content or, you know. <clears throat> you know, it's. Ah, how do I want to say this? Frick. 
Did that say, hey, you blew up? Wonderful. Um, it's like a more meaningful hard mode, but without, you know, having to just repeat the same thing except with tankier enemies, you know? The boring way most things do hard modes. I see. <laughs> so there is, like, a tiny bit of, like, normal platforminess, but only with the treadmill and the jump. Whew. Ah, I should have known that was a bad idea. Uh, this is, I love when games have randomized, you know, you lose quotes or other stuff. You know, any UI text you're going to see a lot. Um, that's actually something that um, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival does kind of neatly. Um, at least with certain things. Like, it doesn't do it for most stuff, honestly. Woo! But um, a certain response is like, okay, it could be yep in the next playthrough, or, you know, sure. It, it doesn't, it's not much, and obviously it doesn't take much effort to do. But it just keeps things a teeny bit fresher. Aw, oh, crap. Wait, what do I... How do I... What? How do I see the thing? Oh, wait. You stop once you go bump. I guess I just gotta go straight down the middle? Not like that. I guess that's what the line there is for help guide you. Uh, hmm. Spikes to meet you. Um, hmm. Huh? You lose speed really fast in the air. It's a little... Hmm. At least we don't have to make that first jump legit. We can just do that. So you can kind of just barely make that. That was a pretty obvious secret. I'm not even sure you could call it a secret, but whatever. Now with more haste. Oh, I see, I see, oh. Yeah, we sort of got a glimpse of this in an earlier level where the, uh, ah, fuck. You were supposed to dodge. Um. Eh? Oh. Yeah, the keys were like breaking away, the key wall was like breaking away next to a, like, a spike thing. I, I pressed A! Whatever. Alright. I don't think we've missed a star yet. Not quite 1001 spikes. I haven't played that yet. I, I don't think it's... I don't really get too hot, too much into the, you know masochistic platformer thing. Though I- I'm not sure if it has its own genre. I've heard precision platformer used for games like N++, um, Velocity 2x, so it's not really a platformer. It's not entirely. I missed some secret there. Yeah. Ah, it's fine. Oh, that was the last level. Aw, oh, maybe I should have. I think with getting stars- oh, we missed two stars. <coughs> with more stars, we can buy more people. Oh, we got a skull dude. All right. Yeah, with stars you can unlock characters. Does he turn into a pumpkin? Yes, he sure does. A boss? What? Okay, it's a boss. I take this music. This is a cute way to integrate a boss without really, you know, going the standard hit the boss a bunch route. Huh? Ah. Uh, got a little greedy there. The saw one. Alright. <laughs> Mishmasher Marshall. I saw that coming. Wasn't sure what to do about it though. I like that his display shows when you die. Oh, sorry. 
I knew you had to be able to get all those. It doesn't really matter since you can't, uh... Only do one... Ah, fuck. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah. At this point, I'm not really gonna... Insist on getting perfect. Yeah, I knew that would... Ah! Oh, it adds more time when you get coins. Or no, basically that's score. I think I'm doing that other... No! Shit. Why did I do that? Whatever. We're not going to get a perfect score, so let's just... Gravity speed holes. See, it adds a little bit of fun, even to dying, when you uh, have little varied messages. Battle Block Theater was good at that too. In fact, they had voice quotes for that. I wait, that's not just a blue cube. I okay, I have to see what that thing is. I'm sorry. I guess it's a boss, so it's reasonable to die this much. That's that's my excuse. Shut up. I'm not sure what that was. Please tell me I keep it. I don't keep it, do I? Oh well. I just I just need to finish this level. I don't. We'll worry about 100% completion later. And by we, I mean me, since I'm probably not gonna- Oh, you do keep it! So it was- Ah, fuck! It was something worth getting, that's for sure. Oh! A little bit ahead of myself. Fuck. I wonder if- you really should go down first for that. It's the right key, the left. Yes, right. Words. Words are hard, okay? Oh, god damn it. Pretty tight window on that one. Like that. Doesn't really seem to be a huge time save. Fucking! Oh god, are you kidding? Is this V V V V V? Uh, I doubt I can skip it either. I think they ac their actual website for VVVV is the letter V six times, or however many times it is. I think it's six. <laughs> Five would make sense, but whatever. Oh god. Fuck! It's, uh... I'm just gonna see if I can... Can you skip a level? No, you can't. Wait, what's B? Oh. Wait, arcade? Is it just all of the levels straight through? Wait, what? Does it, there's a story now? Oh. Okay, it is just all the levels straight through. It's timed. Alright, we don't need to do arcade mode. I'm no speedrunner. I don't do the speed runes. Sorry, how do I... Okay. Arg. Oh, you can continue. Right, let's do a different border. Maybe the border will help us here. I don't really like any of those borders. This one's alright.
Wait. Oh wait, no. This is the... There is a checkpoint, but it just skipped the cutscenes. It's not really. Whatever. Can I skip? You're lucky you have good music, game. I think we're gonna beat this boss, take a look at one more, you know, we gotta see the next world, of course. And then, I think I'm done. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking! Try to bounce it against the wall there to uh, give myself some time to think, but uh, I was too low. And you you keep falling just a teeny bit if you keep doing that against a wall. So yeah, bad idea. Oh, fucking! Okay. For some reason, I was using the analog stick before that run. Um, I, I don't know why. I guess I'm using the Xbox One Elite controller and I'm just not used to an Xbox controller having a non-shitty D-pad. I mean, it's not the best D-pad in the world. Um, hello? Bye-bye. But, uh... It's, it's a decent D-pad. I wish it were just a bit bigger, the normal cross-style one. Oh! So we got wall clinging, and also floor clinging, I suppose. Ah! Huh? Rude. Um, the thing with the Xbox One D-pad, it has this weird... Alright, I forgot you could jump for a second there. It's got, um... It's got this weird cone, or not cone, uh, circle D-pad. You can jump off with... Just pressing A. Um, and it's really good for making, you know, fighting game input, uh, command inputs. You know, like quarter circle forward and all that stuff. Ah. I'm all about giving things taps. Fuck. Yeah, I, I'm still, I've only, I've had this for, this controller for less than a week, so I'm still getting used to, like, I haven't, I made one controller config just to try the, um, I set the buttons, Oh fuck, I, I knew the second I pressed it that was a bad idea, um, I just made a config to, um, set the buttons to something a bit more logical in my opinion, the, uh, the rear buttons. It has these buttons on the back, so you can uh, press any of the face buttons, or you know, you can configure those buttons too, so they can be anything. But by default, the point, fuck, is you can use all of the face buttons while still having your hands on the triggers and the right stick. So you, know, you can use all the buttons on the controller without having to, um... oh, you gotta jump. Actually, I think you can jump. Yeah, the reason I was having so much trouble with those things is you can jump. There's a lot of lenience. I've heard somebody on Twitter was asking what you call that. Um, I think the most agreed on term was um, platform leniency. But like, fuck. You know, there's a few pixels after you. I thought, I thought the Tetris theme was going to burst out there for a second. Yeah, there's a few 
pixels after you leave the platform that you can still uh, press the jump button and have it work. Uh, it's actually very useful for a lot of platformers. Whatever, I don't need the star or the... What is the, What are the glitch thingies anyway? It's not reminding me of... I was playing Fez earlier. It Fez does not like Xbox One controllers apparently because it... Um, well, it just straight up crashes actually. Or no, it doesn't crash, it just locks up until you unplug the Xbox One controller. And then it'll work if you plug it in again, but I was having all sorts of other issues. So I don't know. Ah. Right, so this is a very timing intensive one, I see. I should have known we'd be eventually giving up on getting all stars, and it's definitely time for that. Silver and a gold. Oh, there's two different kinds of keys now. All right, oops. Wait. Oh, I see, I see. Neat. I really love when games like this, you know, they they layer on new gameplay things. Like every every level is different, and you know, a new gimmick for each level. I guess it's kind of basic, but it's also just ah. I don't like these long jumps. I can't tell if you hit terminal velocity quickly or if you just keep going even fast. I, I think you keep going even faster because I keep having the farther you fall, the more trouble I have timing it. So I'm pretty sure there's a, it takes a while to get to terminal velocity in this. But I'm pretty sure not making proper use of that. Dissolving platform is getting me killed. Alright. Let's not panic. I guess the sign of a good game is me saying, I'll stop playing this blank, and then I keep playing it, isn't it? I definitely don't want to get to another. Uh oh. There we go boss and get stuck for a billion years, though. Oh! See, so yeah, a star is just a certain score, not necessarily all coins. And I was never- I wasn't even really feeling frustrated, even on that one level I got stuck on. It was a boss level, it wasn't super long. It, uh... things. Cannon breaker. Oh no. Ow. I gotta get this purple thing. What do the purple things do? I must know. Okay, so the real challenge is the purple thing. Fuck. Oh man, that's... Ah! That is devious. Yeah, this feels so much better with the D-pad. I don't know what I was thinking. Ow. Do, do I keep the thing? No! Give. Okay, it wasn't really that hard. Oh, fuck. Okay, getting down is the harder part, I guess. Ah. Mm. <sighs> Little greedy there. I gotta get this thing now. It's... I just got to. You gotta be careful on that approach back. Ah. Okay, I think I'll call it quits after I successfully get this purple thing. But I, I can't not get this purple thing. I gotta get it. I don't even know what it does. I'll look at the menu and see if I can find out what the f heck it does. The approach is disarmingly easy, but the return trip... 
little tricky here. Oh, fuck! Nah. Okay, fuck, fuck! Ah, uh, I- that's one of those things where I saw the moment I pressed that button. I knew it was a poor idea. And, uh, it sure was. Okay. <clears throat> that last second disrespect. So, no. Alright, now, we're- I'm gonna see if I can find where that- What do the purple things do? Is that, like, a true ending thing? Alright, so we can see our completionness. Warp? Warp? Oh! The plot thickens. It's just the normal game, but with inverted colors. Hmm. I see. No! Oh well, screw the coins. Wait, wh whoa, hey! Star get? I'm surprised we get the star without getting like any of the coins, but ah! Grr. Alright, well, I'm glad I accidentally got all of the purple things, because I wasn't really feeling like sticking around. Actually, I could have gotten them on the first one. Oh, it shows you what score you need to get the star. I, I should have expected that, but I just wasn't really thinking about it. Mm. It's exactly the same thing I fell for. Mm. This one's definitely harder without the uh, the grid lines being in order. I knew I was dead. Ugh. Oh well. Where does the Does that unlock a shortcut or something? Because it's not on the... Hmm. Well. Now I want to see where the warp goes. I'm not sure what to do. Ah, I'm not good enough for this crap. Come on, ah. I don't know how many of these things there are, so. I don't know if I'll come back to this, but uh, at least not on, I'm not sure about on camera anyway. The warp, I wonder if it just unlocks a later level for like arcade mode, who knows. Well, lots of people that have played the game probably. But yeah, this is, uh, what is this again? What? No, don't close the game. What is the name of the game? Um, executable name, go. Blitzbreaker! Sometimes I forget these things. But yeah, that is Blitzbreaker, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure I want to show you me failing a billion times at it, but yeah, it's pretty cool.